Hello all, today we are going to discuss about the topic memory. So firstly, what is a memory unit? Memory unit is a device in which the binary information is stored. The stored binary information is retrieved or received when, the proce when it is required for processing. So when the data processing takes place, the information which is stored in memory is given to the registers in processing unit and after the processing is done, the final output is again taken back to the memory. So in short, a memory unit is collection of cells. Like it has many cells which can store large quantity of binary information or the information in zeros and ones. So the memory is mainly classified into two types, RAM, ROM. RAM is random access memory. So, it stores the new information for later use in it. It is classified into two types. That is, the process of storing new information into the memory is known as memory write operation. And the process of transferring the stored information out of the memory is known as memory read operation. So, the RAM can perform both write operation and read operation. Coming to the ROM, it is read only memory. The name itself describes about the function of the ROM, that is, it performs only read operation. So, it performs only read operation. Next, so ROM is a programmable logic device, PLD. So, the device it stores the information like in such a way that it is specified in some fashion and embedded within the hardware. The process of this is called as programming. So the word programming here refers to the hardware procedure. That is, it specifies that the bits are inserted to hardware configuration of the device. So ROM is one such example of PLD and over here PLD is an integrated circuit like it is a circuit which has the internal logic gates which is connected through the electronic path and it behaves similar to the fuses. This is PLD or programmable logic device. Other such units are PLA that is programmable logic array, PAL that is programmable array logic and FPGA that is field programmable gate array. So coming to the random access memory, it is associated with circuits needed to transfer the information in or out of the memory device. So the architecture of this memory is designed in such a way that the information can be retrieved or received from any of its internal locations. So a memory unit stores binary information in groups of bits called words. So it is referred to words. The collection of 8 bits is called as 1 byte. So the memory word is group of 1s and zeros or the group of binary information can be any of these types. It can be a number, an instruction, one or more alphanumeric characters or any binary coded information. So the capacity of this memory unit is usually stated as the total number of bytes that a unit can store. So this is the block diagram of a memory unit. So this is a memory unit and there are n data input lines. So the number of input lines which are transferring into the memory device are n data input lines and there are n data output lines, the information which has to be transferred out of the memory device. Over here, k refers to the address lines. There are two main input lines, read and write. Write input causes binary data to be transferred into the memory and read input causes binary data to be transferred out of the memory. Coming to its explanation, a memory unit is specified with number of words. So there are many words in a memory unit. And each word is specified with an identification number. referred as address. 
so this address can range from 0 to 2 power k minus 1 so here k refers to the address line number like for example if the k equals to 2 then the address numbers address numbers can range from 0 to 2 power 2 minus 1 that is 0 to 4 minus 1 so it can be 0 1 2 and 3 these are the address numbers so where k is the address line the address can range from 0 to 2 power k minus 1 numbers so the selection of a specific word inside a memory unit is done by applying a k bit address to the address lines so there is an internal decoder which creates a path over here memory varies greatly in size it can range from 1024 words 1024 that is 2 power 10 which requires 10 bits 10 bits so address of 10 bits to 2 power 32 words which requires address of 32 bits so there are few names assigned for this memory that is k kilo which has 2 power 10 words requiring address of 10 bits m for mega 2 power 20 words it requires an address of 20 bits and g for giga 2 power 30 words which requires an address of 30 bits for example 64k refers 64 kilo that is 64 is 2 power 6 and then kilo refers to 2 power 10 bits that is 2 power 16 so address of 16 bits another this is example 1 an example 2 is 2m that is 2 mega 2 power 1 into 2 power 20 that is 2 power 21 address of 21 bits or 4g that is 4 giga 2 power 2 2 power 30 so 2 power 32 that is address of 32 bits let us see the write and read operations write is referred as transfer in operation whereas read is referred as transfer out operation so let us see the process of transferring a new word into the to be stored into the memory so First, we have to apply the binary address of a desired word to address lines. So, the word has a specific binary address. It has to be applied and then we have to apply the data bits which has to be stored in the memory to the data input lines. And then we activate the write input. In this way, we can store a new word into the memory. The same way, let us see the process of transferring a stored word out of the memory. That is the word which is stored in the memory has to be transferred outside. So we apply the binary address of that specific word to address lines and then activate the read input. So there is another pin called memory enable or chip select which lets us activate and work for the specified processing unit. So let us see the memory enable, read write option and the operation which occurs when the enable pin is activated. So first memory enable is zero that is when it is deactivated first the read or write operation is did not occur that is because the memory enable is deactivated none of the read or write options is selected so it is don't care. And memory option is none because nothing takes place next memory enable when it is activated or one and read or write operation is given as zero as it is taken as zero the write option is selected that is the write operation is enabled for the selected location next if the same case is taken and 
read or write option is enabled that is if we take one then read option is selected for the specific location so when the memory enable is zero that is if it is deactivated then nothing occurs so there is no memory operation it is don't keep option next if the memory enable is one and if read or write is disabled then the memory operation is write operation and if the memory enable is 1, read or write option is 1, then the memory operation is read. Types of memories coming to the access time in random access memory, the time is always the same. That is regardless of the particular location of the word. Whereas in sequential access memory, the time it takes to access the word depends on the particular position of the word with respect to the position of the read head. Therefore, the access time is variable. Next, coming to the RAM. Integrated RAM are available in two possible operating modes. That is static RAM, SRAM and dynamic RAM, DRAM. So, here, SRAM uses flip-flops to store the binary information. Whereas, dynamic RAM uses the cell to store its binary information with a capacitor or a transistor in the form of the electrical charges. Here in static RAM, each cell stores bit with a 6 transistor circuit whereas in a dynamic RAM values must be refreshed every 10 to 100 milliseconds so that it is run properly. Next, the static RAM retains value indefinitely only when the power supply is given to the unit. Whereas the dynamic RAM, the power consumption is less and it has the larger storage capacity. In static RAM, it is insensitive to the disturbances such as electrical noise, whereas dynamic RAM is sensitive to the disturbances. In static RAM, compared to dynamic RAM, it is faster and more expensive, whereas the dynamic RAM is slower and cheaper. So, this is all about the topic memory and its types. Thank you.